Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use guidelines in constraint layout. So in constraint layout it's not typically easy to align your views based on percentages. So let's say if you want to have a view aligned to 50% of the screen or have a view only take up a certain percentage of the screen, it's not that um, straightforward. We have to use guidelines for that or constrained percent. So with guidelines, we can set a guideline for a certain percentage and that guideline is then given an ID and then we can constrain our other views to that ID. So we have two types of guidelines. We have horizontal and vertical. So firstly, I'll show you this um, horizontal guideline. So if we just drag it over to our layout. So we'll set the starting point of the guideline to where you drag it, but I always like to change this to just one DP. So it starts at the top of the layout. So if I change that to one DP, you can see it jumps straight to the top. And now we can set our percentage. And that is in layout constraint guide percent. Might be a bit easier if I show you it in code view. Now to set the percent, we use the guide, constraint guide percent. And I'm going to set that to 50%, which will be 0 0.5. And if we go back to the design view, we can then see we have the guideline set to 50% of the screen. And then if we want to align one of our views to that, we can just um, update the ID that it's aligned to. So we have this text view here, which just has a zero, and we can take this little anchor point at the bottom and then put that onto our guideline. And you can see it will then snap to our guideline and that is aligning to 50% of the screen. And that will mean that this text view will be in the center between the top of the screen and the bottom of this 50% guideline. And if we go into the code on that text view, we can see that the constraint for the bottom of this text view is set to the top of guideline three and the top of this text view is set to the parent. Along with horizontal guidelines, we also have vertical guidelines. So if I just add one of those in, and I'll do this in the code view. So I'm gonna set this again to 1DP. Orientational will be vertical. And for the guide percent, I'm gonna set this to 0.3. So we'll take a third of the screen. So you can see we've got our vertical guideline here. It's taken up a third of the screen. And I'm going to assign the left side of the increase count button to constrain to this guideline. So now we can see it's constrained to this guideline. And now it's in between the guideline and the right side of the parent. And it's just aligning in the middle. Obviously, this doesn't look great but this is just explaining to you guys how we can use the guideline. Now the guidelines are completely invisible and they only are used for the purpose of laying out your views. They cannot be seen when you run the app. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this app now. And once it's run, we can see how the views are aligned and it should look exactly like it does on the screen here. Right, so we can see the app is now launched. We can see the guidelines are working correctly. So the zero text view is aligned between the top of the parent and the top of that guideline, which we set to 50% of the screen. And this increase count button is aligned to the right of the parent and to the right of this 30% vertical guideline, which we have here. So it's aligned in the middle between those. Right guys, so that is how we use a horizontal guideline and a vertical guideline in constraint layout. I'm going to end this video here. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.